alternative proteins are good for our health because they have all the nutrition values that we get from regular proteins, but they're cleaner. So by creating alternative protein, we not only create cleaner, healthier products for people, but also cleaner, healthier products for the planet we live in and breathe in. 2020, with over $3 billion invested in the field of alternative protein globally, which is more than tripling the amount of the year before, Israel is a global hub for innovation of cultivated meat, and we have seen more than 25% of the investment in the field coming to Israel. Ale Farms is a leader in cultivated meat, which is about sticking to the meat we know, but changing the production process for it. We isolate a few cells from a healthy cow, and we transfer them into a controlled environment, replicating the same physical and nutritional conditions of the body so that the cells continue to divide and to organize themselves into a steak with a fraction of the resources, no antibiotics, and without the animal welfare concerns associated with intensive farming and slaughter. Cultivated meat is a new category of meat. On one hand, we bring all the good nutrition we find in meat, like the quality of the proteins, the vitamins A, D, B12, B3, B6, on the other hand, we can also optimize the nutrition, making sure that we, we get the highest quality possible in a constant and reproducible manner. Ale Farms is not yet in the market. We expect to have a first launch around the end of next year, and cultivated meat will probably become a mainstream product around 2024, 2025, within a few years from now. A mankai is the smallest leaf vegetable on the face of Earth. What is really unique is that every little dot that you see here is a complete full multi-cell vegetable, just like the lettuce or cucumber in your refrigerator. And because it's so small, it can be embedded into different types of food and elevate the nutritional offering of nearly any food. 45% of mankai is complete protein with all the essential amino acids, but it also has a lot of iron, folic acid, 200 types of polyphenols, and very importantly, mankai has B12, vitamin B12, that is usually only obtainable for meat. And as you know well, in today's world, there is a strong shift to eating more and more plant-based food. And the people who shift to more plant, they need B12. Mankai has all of them, the iron, the protein, and the B12. What we do with the grasshoppers, we provide them to food, beverage, and supplement producers around the world as an ingredient. We turn the grasshoppers into powder, and those producers can be used, the, the ingredient, in a variety of products, sweets and savory, in meat, in dairy, in bakery, in nutritional supplements, in beverages, everywhere. They contain 72% protein, complete pro protein with all essential amino acids, and a long list of essential micronutrients, antioxidants, and vitamins. As a result, they provide a long list of health benefits for humans. For example, they support the growth of children, they improve metabolism, they reduce body fat, strengthen our immune system, and more. And they are highly sustainable. Compared to beef, per kilogram per kilogram, they reduce by 99% greenhouse gas emissions, water consumption, arable land usage, and waste. So this is the most efficient protein source that can feed the entire world. My company, Strauss Group, has the kitchen, which is a food tech hub in Israel that has over 19 portfolio companies. One of them, for example, is Zero Egg, a company which is plant-based for alternative for eggs which usually comes from chicken. We don't need the use of cages, we don't have the effects of diseases, and we have a better care for animal welfare. Even if the flavor is very close and the texture is very, very close, it never be the same, it shouldn't be the same. It's an alternative.